Next thing we're going to add is bricks to our layout. So I'm going to double click on the background again to insert another sprite. Click on the background to pull up the image editor. Then with my image editor up, I'm going to open up my brick sprite, close my image editor. Make sure I name my object brick. I only want one brick, so do not create a new one. And I'm actually not going to give any behaviors to this brick. I'm going to put everything in my event sheet. So over here, I'm going to add my first event. And my first event is going to be whenever my ball has a collision with another object. And that object is going to be the brick. So I have my ball on collision with brick event. And I'm going to add some actions to that. First thing I want to have happen when the ball hits the brick is for the ball to bounce. So I'm going to tell the ball to go to its bullet movement section and bounce off an object. The object I want it to bounce off of is the brick. So now when I run that, I have the ball bounce off of my brick. After it bounces off the brick, it should also have the brick be destroyed. You can sort all of the actions that are available by searching in the search bar. So I type the first part of destroy and I get just the things that look like destroy. And I probably also want to get some points for that. So I need to add to a score variable. But I don't have a score variable yet. So I'm going to right click in this open section and add a global variable. I'm going to call my global variable score. And its initial value is going to be zero. So when the game starts, I'll have zero points. Now anytime the ball hits a brick, I also want to do a system action. And I'm going to add to a global or local variable. I'm going to add to the score variable say 100 points. Now when I run that, the ball bounce off the brick, the brick gets destroyed, and I got 100 points. Somewhere, I just can't see them yet. So I'm going to go back to my layout, and now I'm going to add a text object. So I'm going to insert my text object, I'm going to click somewhere, and I'm going to change the name of this object to my score label. Now I don't want it to just say text, so down under properties, I'm going to give it the initial value, which is score colon space zero, because when I start the game, I'm going to have zero points. So I'm going to say that my score is zero. I can change my color and font here. So I'm actually going to change my font to 20. If you make it too large, it will not be visible. That just means you need to resize your box. So I'm going to move that up here. That's a little hard to see on my dark background. So I'm going to change my color to white. So it's a little easier to see. Now you might think that it will work if I run it now, but it's still not going to show anything because I never told my label to show my actual score. So on event sheet, after I add the points, I'm going to say my score label needs to have its text updated. So I'm going to go to set text to, and since we're setting it, we're resetting the whole thing. So score colon space. Now don't put in a number because that's not what you want to do. You want to add the variable value. So in quotation marks, you have exactly what you want to show up, score, colon, space. The ampersand concatenates, which means adds two string values together. A string value is text that's not a number. So it's going to be added to value of score. So in here, I'm going to start typing the name of my variable, and you should see it come up here. Double click on that and it'll finish typing out the rest of it for you. And then click done. Assuming I did it correctly, when I run the game, I should get 100 points for hitting that brick. So I can go back to my layout and duplicate my bricks a few times. Run that and this should be able to get some points every time I hit a brick.